We all know that attaining specialized skill and knowledge in a specific area can give us a huge leg up. But sometimes a narrow focus can turn into a problem. In 1910, Captain Robert Scott set out to reach the South Pole, hoping to become the very first person to ever make it. This was his second attempt after a 1902 venture had fallen short by just a few hundred miles. And after eight years spent preparing and exploring, he wrote in his journal, I feel sure we are as near perfection as experience can direct. Once the expedition began, however, it didn't take long for major problems to arise. Scott had decided to use ponies rather than dogs as pack animals, and the ponies were ill-adapted for the climate. His team had also located its main supply depot in the wrong place, which would make the mission much more difficult. But Scott decided to press on. It was a classic escalation of commitment, the tendency to continue down a path in the face of evidence that it's not a good idea. Self-declared experts often struggle to consider that their highly specialized worldview may be wrong. And in the case of Scott, his tunnel vision had dire consequences. Scott and his five-person team did reach the South Pole, but Norwegian explorer Raoul Amundsen beat them to it by five weeks. And on their return journey, Scott and his men all perished, only 11 miles from the next supply depot. While most of us rarely face such life and death circumstances, the challenge Scott faced isn't an unusual one. As philosopher Emile Chartier has noted, nothing is more dangerous than an idea when it's the only one you have. Outdated thinking can sometimes work against us, but an influx of new ideas can help us see past it. So let's be sure not to over-specialize at the expense of broader learning. In fact, we need to think not about specialization or variety, but rather about how we can use the two of them together. For example, when Francesca Gino and I studied mortgage processors at the Japanese bank Shinsei, we found that frequently switching between tasks during a single day actually decreased learning. Turns out that when you multitask, your brain's working memory can get overloaded. And combined with the stress of juggling so many ideas, learning suffers. So in the short term, specialization is valuable. But over a longer period of time, we saw that engaging in a variety of tasks increased the mortgage processor's overall learning and motivation. So here comes the takeaway. On any given day, stay specialized and resist the urge to multitask. In the long term, add variety to your learning to give yourself a wide foundation of ideas to draw upon. When all is said and done, the goal is to become a T-shaped person, someone who has some knowledge about a broad range of subjects and incredibly deep knowledge about one or a small number of specialized areas. It's the T-shaped people who drive innovation, stay ahead of the curve, and hopefully stay alive during Antarctic expeditions.